So let's talk about how you can start a recruiting agency from home. My name is Eric. I started my own recruiting agency from home as well. I made over a quarter million dollars in the first year. Here is what you need to do. Here is your first 30 day plan. Here's a few steps on how to get launched. Welcome back to the podcast, everybody. The Solopreneur Recruiter. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're watching us on YouTube, wherever you're listening and check out recruiterrocket.io for more free resources. Check out the Patreon there as well. So if you're thinking about starting this recruiting agency, there's a lot of different people that I've worked with in the past, but there's people that get in here, they don't have any experience. They don't have any similar type experience like sales or anything like that. We're gonna lay down some very basic essentials when you start. So step one is essentially pick a niche, create a business model. So being on that employer side, uh, all the pitches that you hear from so many recruiting agencies, whenever you post your open roles, everybody has got some kind of home run idea that they think they are. They talk about how they recruit 70 different kinds of roles and early on, you'll give them a shot. When you're a new decision maker, you will. You don't know left from right. You'll just hear a good pitch and everybody has one. And you'll start to realize the generalists don't really have an expertise in one specific area. Some may be very good recruiters and can be versatile. That's rare. There's a lot of people that say they are very versatile. A lot of times they are not. But it really catches your eye when you have a very specific role that is on fire. And you come to my front doorstep saying, this is the problem that I solve. This is all I live and breathe doing. So picking a niche is important. Can start by going with what you know, explore some things that interest you. You don't have to have a job experience in the space. I've done software engineers, no experience in that space. But again, a niche, what that's going to do too, is you are going to at some point have five clients that have the five exact same roles. And you can source for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. You can get 50 candidates and those 50 candidates you can now put out to five different roles. The chances of you making money off of that day of work is very good in contrast to working a one-off role or many one-off roles doing that work. And the company calls you back saying, Hey, Jimmy, we're not hiring for that one anymore. That Friday worth of work is now out the window as they say. So 50 candidates as well. You can use them for future roles. Keep that in mind. Step two, you need to know your value right? What is your value? I had a famous comment on one of my YouTube videos saying, you know, absolutely never work for a lower fee or free. You need to know your value. And it's what is your value for first getting started? Are you an expert or do you plan to be an expert in a niche? Uh, do you plan on giving a ton of attention to the roles? Are you going to be exclusively working for that client? So I know you're going to at least pay attention to my stuff. Do you offer the same recruiting services, but you're just more cost effective. That could be another one. Do you find candidates in some different way? So write it down, what you're going to price yourself at, what your offering is going to be and stick to your plan and how you sell it. You don't want to be wiggling during negotiations and not have a baseline. But again, know what your value is specifically as a business owner and understand if you're brand new at this, it's important to have those things ready to go and not just be winging it with no experience. Step three, launch a brand. So really basic stuff, get a logo made. Uh, use Canva, use one of those AI. There's a bunch of AI websites. They just do it for free. Spits you out like a hundred after you give them like a color scheme and a whatever, create a LinkedIn business page, create your professional email, use Gmail. It's very easy to set up. You buy the URL and GoDaddy, you connect it very easy. Don't want to be pumping out emails from a Hotmail account. And ideally you would make a website or a landing page representing exactly uh, what you offer and what your focus is and how you're an expert in that space. And you're really good to go. There's people out there that have just done it with an email address and a LinkedIn page or very basic things. You don't need a whole lot of stuff like an LC or you don't need an LLC if you're working like contingency roles. You can just run the business under yourself. If you're gonna employ people and contract them out, you can look into legal, but that's all you need to just get launched from a branding perspective. Step three, go out and find the roles. So you're ready to go. You gotta go find these clients. So if you have no experience in sales or recruiting, here's one thing that caught a little controversy from that one comment I mentioned earlier. You can connect with other recruiters and do splits. That's not the controversial thing, but if you're working on marketing roles, go find marketing recruiters and say, hey, if you're overflowed with Rex and you can't get to them, work with me. It's something you're not gonna make money on. And 
Just give me half of the 20%. Give me 10 grand if I find this person. You keep the other 10 grand for doing nothing. I do have a split board where I post my open roles. You can come work on them and submit candidates. I would also consider reaching out to your network, people that you know, letting them know I'm, I, hey, I'm starting a recruiting business. I'll work for you for free and I'll get you 10 candidates or 10 interviews for these one to two roles that are that are in your focus that you want to grow within. So again, if you want to be a digital marketing recruiter and you have two roles in mind and you see them, go to your network and say, hey, I'll work on those. Just give me a testimonial when I get you 10 really good interviews to get me started. Just figure out your process. Getting that experience, it's really more about getting some confidence as well. There's so many people that I lay out exactly what to do, how to close these deals, how to get these fees, and there's just not the confidence there once they're on the phone because they think that this the game is really difficult in recruiting. But in reality, once you've worked with your first client, you're like, oh damn, I can definitely do this. I can call for this kind of a fee. Sometimes that's what people need, but that's what I would do is get a good couple logos on your site, a good couple case studies. It's gonna make selling a lot easier. And that brings me to step four is build your sales machine. So we do this actually step-by-step -step in the Patreon. Go check out recruiterrocket.io if that's what you wanna see built out and you just wanna build it side by side. It's 14 bucks for the first 100 members. But now what's very important is you have a product to sell. If you're working on splits or you have found a client that you're working with, you don't have to make a placement, but now you have those 10 candidates that are A plus and they're fits for that role. Now you go out and find clients that are hiring for the exact same role. And you say, hey, here are 10 fits that I have. I'm gonna continue to build in this space. Here's my price. It's more cost effective than others. And I will live and die in these one or two roles. So you know I'm always gonna have candidates. So you have something to actually pitch them instead of going to them saying, I'm a really hard worker, man. You should have seen me in Boy Scouts. In my last job, I hustled my face off and something that has nothing to do with this. Everybody's got a story about how hard they work on a different idea of what hard work is. So it means nothing to the client. So having something to dangle in front of them, being like, hey, I'm your person. I have the candidates. You can work with me or not, but somebody's gonna take these. So that creates urgency. So your sales machine is that's gonna be really your pitch. You'll set up a LinkedIn automation to send out seven or eight preset messages, cold emails to do the same. Then you're just gonna follow up with calls, videos, personalized LinkedIn messages, or create content. There's a handful of things you can do, but that's it. It's that simple. All these different programs that are selling for 10 grand, that's all it is. A little more details in there, but check out the Patreon. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Step five is you need to understand what it takes for sales. This is a very important part, but in every sales roles I've had, I had the cold email and automation going for me. Really all you're doing as a sales rep, even in recruiting is picking up the phone a hundred times a day or sending personalized messages. And that's what you have to do as a business owner is you have to have some form of effort, whether it's 50 outbound per day, that's on top of your automation. Um, this is not something where you're going to, you're going to, make 50 phone calls a day or 50 emails a day and three days from now you're going to have five clients you have to stick to the plan and if you do this for 30 days you're going to have a client you want to get better at it you want to improve the process you want to have certain tactics involved but you can actually be pretty bad at you can have a pretty bad pitch and if you were to call 150 times a day for 30 days on top of your automation or send videos you're going to let you're going to stumble on something so Step six, this is where you start to expand. You have clients. Hopefully there's a ton of duplicate roles. You work in the same digital marketing role that has eight options. You can expand on things like making your, uh, making your sales process a lot easier, adding better case studies, better clients, adding things to give away on your website, getting into the content game on LinkedIn. So adding a bunch of targets that you want to sell to at some point. But Instead of selling to them hard right away, you just keep posting good content that's applicable to selling in their space and or hiring in their space. Just increase your own value. Start to kick the tires on things like marketing, Google ads, social ads, creating Facebook groups for your candidates that you're always hiring for, where you're talking about new tools to use or something like that. Look at Recruiter Rocket, the Facebook page. That's what it is. Keep it really simple. This is a really simple business to get started with. The barrier to entry is very low, but you need to improve and build, build a business. You have to build a foundation here and work your face off, especially in sales and you'll be fine. So is my audio on? Yeah, it's on. That is it. All right. So go check out the website. Thanks for listening. Be sure to like, subscribe. See ya.